What's up guys? Welcome back to another video coming you. Yeah, not from the CBR, but on a Yamaha R1. A black one. That's the only thing I know about it. It is, it is black. It's a Yamaha R1. Don't know what year it is, what kind of model. Well, model is R1, but yeah, there's always specific models like years they were built in. I'm riding this. My buddy got my CBR. I'm gonna do some work on this one. So to get it home, he came with his bike. He took my bike and I got his bike. So it's the second time I ever ridden this bike. And I have to say the first time I rode it was like uh, just a drag strip style ride. Just go straight ahead, give it the berries. Yeah, that was my first experience with a sports bike. I have to say honestly, I didn't really fell in love with sport bikes right there. But it was cool, it's, it was fun to ride a sporty bike. And working on bikes, you have to ride a motorcycle. So then I got my my CBR and I fell in love with it. But now let's talk a little bit more about this Yamaha One. What I think about it, how I feel about it. This morning when I step into my garage and I saw the R1, I was like, yeah, it looks cool. It's a bigger bike, of course. It's a, it's a 1000 cc and mine is only a 600 cc. It looks cool. But I'm a little bit over the whole black thing. It's not really my style anymore. I like flashy stuff now. When I was younger, I always loved the black stuff. I mean, they look pretty great, the black motorcycles, but you see a lot of them. And my CBR is like bright orange. You don't see that often. So now the handling, it handles pretty good. You can feel it tip over fairly easy I mean knee downs will be very easy on this one my my CBR leans over also pretty well but I feel like this one is a little bit better now seating position it's a little bit more aggressive you more lean forward with CBR I, I can sit like a little bit straighter like this but with the R1 it's more like this you're constantly in a sport position which is cool but I'm not that kind of rider. I like easy rides. Yeah, take a turn a little bit faster than normal. But I'm not like that knee down guy, MotoGP style rider. No, I'm like, yeah, I have a motorcycle. Yeah, I can go fast, but no, I'm not some daredevil. But as I said, I like my CBR a little bit more. I mean, the lines look cool. The headlights, the dual headlights, turn on my CBR only got one headlight when it's running it looks cool but I feel like my bike looks a little bit cooler but I think that every biker tells that about his bike yeah that bike looks cool but mine is a little bit better <laughs> now handling in I don't know if something is wrong I don't know I have to talk to my buddy about this gonna send them a message when I get home when I'm in first gear and I want to start off it shakes a lot it's like something is binding up something doesn't feel right I would say that it's the gearing system that it's that's a little bit yeah wonky I don't know I don't know I'm just spitballing right here if you compare it with my CBR the first gear is much smoother I don't know maybe maybe it's just because it's a bigger bike it's bigger torque you can feel the power you <laughs> have to be gentle with this boys this <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself or get a massive ticket for my buddy. No, I don't want to drop the bike. It's got frame sliders, but yeah. <laughs> Giving that awkward call to your buddy saying, hey, uh, I have some news about your R1. I dropped it. <laughs> I don't want to make that call, but we have uh, a gentleman's agreement. If one another drops his bike, because he can drop my bike as well, the other one can keep the bike so if he drops my CBR I I'm owning this R1 if I drop the R1 he has a CBR but yeah it's a nice day nice weather for riding but of course we are working on bikes I, could, I will take this bike for a ride off camera have a little fun one thing I have to say I like the exhaust more than my CBR this is like a growling noise like 
and my, my CBR is like screeching. Like, this is yeah, real grunt. I, I would love my CBR to make this noise. My body actually likes the noise that my CBR is making, but I don't like this more. So maybe we should trade bikes. Who knows? But yeah, I always said it. I love the exhaust. I love beefy growling exhaust noises. Now let's tell me what I'm gonna do with this bike. Um, when I got my CBR, me and my buddy went on a ride because I was not comfortable riding the CBR yet. He right in front of me and I just followed. With not having a communication helmet, we couldn't talk to each other, so I had to rely on his indicators. And at one point we had a cross section and he goes into the lane to turn left. Now his blinker is not on and I'm like, are we going left? So he turns left and I started honking, pulling him over and I said, hey, what were you doing down there? You, you have to indicate. <laughs> And he said, well, I, 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 I did indicate, said, I said, you don't, you didn't. So when we got home, we checked out the indicators and the back indicator wasn't working right. He's like, oh, damn, man, I have to make expenses. Oh, I don't like that. As the good friend I am, I took out my tools and I started working on the bike. And what I saw is that the wiring job on the back tail light was pretty rough and rough is is, is like kind of the gentle way to say it it was oh, it, it was awful off so I fixed it on the spot and I said to him hey I'm gonna order some connections and we're gonna I'm gonna fix it one day and here we are riding the bike to the workshop doing some quick maintenance just doing the wiring not a big deal so the tail light will work every single time and it looks a lot neater even if not a lot of people will see it he will know that his wiring job is on point so i'm still anxious on riding this bike i mean it's a totally different bike what i have to say is that my friend always said yeah if i'm riding to the city i only use first and second gear with my CBR I use like first second and third so yeah I, I, I get it uh, bigger bike oh man I can't get over it first gear is like ooh, wonky ah, like a startup yeah I don't, I don't like it I, uh, I want my bikes to be smooth and and this is not smooth at all not to not to downgrade my buddy's bike um, but as a mechanic that is something that I that I noticed I don't want to yeah say the wrong things and say that it's not normal it could be normal but it doesn't feel right the first gear the the pull-up should be a lot a lot smoother but it could be normal <laughs> I don't know so we are almost at the shop now uh, and I will meet you guys there and we will start working on the electrical system and check out the bike even more so we got the R1 in the shop it was a little bit of a tight fit but we made it work now the problem is underneath the seat so what we're gonna do we're gonna take off the seat Let's take off the back section as well. Now let's check the wiring and it should be this one. So this is the issue that I'm talking about. They just put the wires in the connections and what happened when we were riding this connection came loose and his tail lights stopped working, at least his indicator. So we're gonna fix that, we're gonna put on some new connections on both sides, but we're gonna make it look pretty. So I've written down how the wire connection is. Blue connects to brown and yellow connects to green. So we can now disconnect this whole part, pull out this wire so we can have better access to it. Okay, let's strip down these wires even more and get some brake cleaner so I can clean up these wires because they are so dirty. <laughs> so I'm just going to snip off these, get the shielding off and put on a nice new gold connector. Okay, first one on. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut 
the brown wire right here and I'm not gonna touch the other one small incision right here and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to pull out the brown wire now with my little hook I can pull out the brown wire I'm gonna put a connection already on here Okay, that's good. And this can slide over it. Now let's do the same for the green one. Okay, now we can temporarily connect it. As you can see with those water tight. Now we can check if the wiring is still good before we clean up all this. So the bike is on. Let's see if everything works. Brake light for the front brake. Foot brake. Brake light still works. Left side. Yeah, the indicator still works to the left, hit the right, everything good. Now the hazard, yeah. So everything still works as it should. This bike also has the integrated indicators at the front with the integrated tail light. But as you can see, everything still works. So what I'm now going to do, I'm going to clean up these wires, make it all nice and pretty again. Maybe strap this like this make those two wires connect together. I don't know what I'm going to do, um, but I'm going to clean it up and make it all good again. So this is the final end result. You have the connectors right here with the shielding. They're all waterproof and it runs up right here. Solid connections. These are not coming loose. No trouble with indicators not working. So yeah, another good job keeping other people safe. Now let's just reinstall the seat. Put this back in. Let's see if we need the key for it. Here it is. All nice and pretty again. It's all back together. It's safer. Just a simple wiring job, but it's something that I wanted to do for my friend because yeah, safety is everything. Imagine this, if he doesn't have indicators, he turns left and the people behind him don't see that he's want to turn left. Simple wiring job if you want to do it yourself. So the job is finished. So what I just want to do is get a sound clip of the engine. So I'm just going to do my outro right here. So that's it for this video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter and on Instagram. And if you are not already subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. But now, let's hear it. Thank <laughs> you.